So you're trying to start a, start a volleyball team. Okay. So you're trying to make it onto a volleyball team. That's why you clicked on this video, right? The title of this video is Slide Clickbait. You fooled us. <gasps> so much determined by you, your personal experience, the team, where you're trying out, blah blah blah. However, I can give you this information and you can do with it what you will. So, here's the thing, alright? Making a volleyball team isn't necessarily like a process. Does that make sense? Like, there's no like, step by step, you'll make it on the team if you do all of these things. That's not what it is. To start off, I want to say that I have been a libero, a DS, a setter, an outside hitter, at one point in time, we don't talk about it. Just don't mention it. So I've hit, I've passed, and I've set. That's just what I wanted to disclose before I began. Making a video. Making a video. All right. Cool. Oh, whoa. Thank you. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do, step one, all right, try out. Oh, seriously, you can't be doing that. Step one is try out, and this may seem obvious, and it is. Yeah. If you talk yourself, out of trying out, you'll never make the team. Welcome back, Captain Obvious. If you don't take the chance, you're not gonna, I mean, it's failure, automatically, right? If you don't do it for yourself, do it for me. Step two is you have to create the mindset of the volleyball player. When it comes to the volleyball mentality, you have to have this mindset of how am I personally, God, seriously, how am I personally going to help the team? Am I a talker? Do I talk about whatever's happening on the other side? Do I encourage people? Where even if I am on the bench, I'm still encouraging people and making people want to play. Am I coachable? Where I'm in practice working my butt off. Maybe you are really good. However, that's very irrelevant when it comes to the volleyball mentality. You don't have to be good to have a volleyball mentality. You are trying out for this team so that you can benefit other people. So basically, what can you provide the team? How will you benefit the team? Ask yourself that question before you try out. The third step, I guess, just make sure you keep your emotions in check, if that makes sense. My Frankfurter fell! Oh no! <laughs> stays inside the lines and vice versa which is how it goes it is what it is step four you're gonna want to do a lot of self-reflecting before you go into tryouts you have to mentally prepare yourself and here's what i mean what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to ask yourself three questions first question is why do you want to try out what is your reason why do you want to play volleyball second question you should ask yourself is what type of player do i want to be i don't want to be known for like when i am done with volleyball what legacy do you want to leave behind the third thing you want to think about is more specific to tryouts which is what am i going to do if i make the team what am i going to do if i don't make the team step i think we're on step five but i could be wrong it could be step four i want to say step five though i don't know this is your first impression that's not meant to freak you out at all, which it might, but hopefully it doesn't. Be too late. Dress to impress. All right, don't come in with a lacrosse shirt on. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, I'm just, I'm begging you. Please don't do that. Duh. So like, if you have a volleyball shirt, I would wear that to tryouts, but if you don't, that's totally fine. Um, bright colors are nice. I don't personally do this because I don't actually really have any bright colors to wear, but it will help people remember you better, so... Step six, accept the fact that you might not get on the team. And I know that sounds like really depressing, but at the same time, it will be way less depressing if you don't make the team and you're already preparing yourself that you might not get on the team. Does that make sense? If you're not sure if you're gonna make the team, prepare yourself that you might not make the team or also prepare that you might not get as much playing time as the other players or as, you know, as much as you think. But you have to be prepared for the unexpected. I guess that's step six. Prepare yourself for the unexpected. Maybe they will put you in outside and you tried out for a setter. Like, it could be anything. And you can't let that get you down either. I'm not saying you have to do good in that position. I'm just saying thrive in that position, try for that position, and own that position. Own it, own it, own it. Yeah, that's step six is expect the unexpected. The next step, I'm pretty sure it's step seven. Give your coaches a reason to put you on the court. Don't give them reasons not to put you on the court. Exactly. Here's what I mean. If you're swearing on the court, yelling at your teammates, or you're just not encouraging, you're kind of giving attitude to the coaches, the players. Maybe in practice you're not really paying attention, you're not really focusing, you know, doing whatever. Maybe you're not implementing what the coaches are saying. Don't give them any reason not to put you in. Step eight, you 
guys all know the quote, but our absence makes the heart go fonder. Not in volleyball. If you're not showing up to practices, and you're not showing up to scrimmages, and you're showing not to show up to conditioning or something, alright? You're just not showing up. Your coaches do pay attention. You are correct! As much as you think that they might not, coaches are paying attention, players are paying attention, players will bring it up in practice, and they'll be like, hey, where's blah blah blah. You need to be there as much as possible. If you're committing to a team, you should be there. Practices aren't optional. They're just not. I understand if you're, you planned a vacation a long time ago with your family, or you are sick, obviously. Like, family emergencies, obviously. Duh. But apart from those three things, and maybe a few exceptions, it's just like, you need to be there. I guess that's not really a tryout tip, however you can implement it into tryouts by saying, like, make it to every trial, or make it to every open play beforehand. Step eight. I personally think this is one of the most important ones, and this is why. I've seen this so often, and it's so terrible. I tried out for this team, but I tried out for another team just in case I didn't make it. I got accepted onto both teams. Here's the catch. You need to try out for more than one team. And I know that sounds extensive, but if you really want to play, you need to try out for two teams. Unless you're promised a position. It's like a college, like, application. I've seen a lot of people who literally did not play club because they didn't make it on the team. And I asked them, I was like, how many teams did you try out for? And they'll be like, one. I'm like, well, bro, you gotta try out. I mean, not everyone's gonna make the team. You have to try out for more than one team. Step nine, the last tip. I think this is 10 or it could be 11, but this is my last tip for you guys. And it is to have fun. If I didn't make a team, but I had so much fun at tryouts, I met people, I talked to coaches, and I was just having so much fun working hard at tryouts and having fun and you know, doing everything I was supposed to, I'm going to go home and be like, you know what, even if I don't make this team, like, it was so fun. You gotta remember that, alright? So just, like, it's fun, it's slightly intimidating, but it's fun overall. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, I love you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, maybe learned something from it. I know this was highly requested by many people, and I'm hoping that this will help you guys understand and gain a better relationship with tryouts. I'm going to be coming out with a new video, at BS slash libero tips, um, back row tips, that kind of thing. So if you don't have your notifications on, you probably should turn those on. What's the harm in knowing when I'm posting? I mean, who wouldn't want to know when I'm posting? I know I would. Anyways, I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.